Major Wilson's a bit of a star. He's married. Oh. <laughs> it's almost beyond comprehension. What are you afraid of? It's one of the most incredible stories I've ever heard. But everything that you took just a lie. Truth is stranger than fiction. I just sit at my typewriter and make things up. Totally mad. Go! But it did all actually take place. This is the true story of our life. Mrs. Wilson is based on my grandmother's memoir, really. The story of a woman who lives a very suburban, ordinary life on the surface, comes home from work to make her husband, who's 20 years old, and her lunch. Lunch is ready! And he has a heart attack and dies. Uh, wake up! Uh. It's about one woman discovering who this man is and how it then affects her life and how she deals with that. I'm his wife, Alison Wilson. Who are you? Gladys Wilson. I'm Alex's wife. Good night. He had four wives and kids with all of them. How on earth did he do that? It's about secrets and lies. How do you live with secrets or do you share? I said get out! Alison Wilson was an extremely intriguing character. She was brought up in a very remote part of Cumberland and developed a keen sense of romanticism. She fell in love with him. He was 25 years older than her. There were lots of things that were doubtful about him. He's a crook and a liar. I don't believe a single word he says. He was a spy. Archer. He was a writer. His job was to be secret. He could make stories up. I think that's a very confusing way to live life. He was fundamentally a good soul. I think he had a good intent. He had a good heart. He loved his children and he was a good father. And he did whatever he did for his reasons, and they were the right ones. You don't trust me, do you? Women fell at his feet wherever he went. He was incredibly charming. He is an absolute enigma. You pray every day. In these uncertain times, one needs to have faith. Ruth Wilson has an extraordinary amount of pressure on her. She's playing her own grandmother. She died when I was 22, so I knew her relatively well. There were lots of moments I had out-of-body experiences where I was feeling incredibly emotional about what my grandmother must have gone through. You bloody liar. So sort of feeling for her in some moments rather than necessarily being her. It's a huge responsibility for Ruth. It's so brave to lay your family's story out you know, on a, on a platform like this. She takes Alison Wilson and makes her her own and you cannot stop watching her because her performance and her portrayal is so compelling and her emotions are so truthful and real. I think it's the hardest role I've played. Forgive me for being weak, so weak. <laughs> it's been amazing for the family. It's been profound for many of them and certainly for my dad's generation of well, all the siblings. The siblings meet quite frequently. They write to each other. They all have different memories. They've all sat and talked about their father. It's been an incredibly positive experience. You're a good mother. They will understand. What do I think the audience will think at the end? I don't know, and I love the fact you can't decide, because life isn't that neat. We'll say such terrible things about you. But you know who I am. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Margaret. Right, babe. And action! You bloody liar.
Kind of you to meet me. How are you? Mm. And Gordon and Nigel? We're fine. Novel, however, is with my new agent. He sent it to every publishing house in town. Come on. There's someone I want you to meet. Don't get in too deep, my dear. You set us up. Thought this would all suit you rather well. Archer! You said he was a good man. Tell me, in what way exactly was he a good man? He served the country. Did he ever tell you how his writing helped him? He said it took away the fear inside him. Go around to green then, I don't know.